I'm Patrick Capiello from Rebel Restaurant in New York City, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to pair wine and cheese. Everyone knows wine and cheese goes together, but there are a few rules that I think you can follow that'll make your wine and cheese experience even better. Most cheese boards, you're gonna have a goat cheese, a cheddar cheese, a wash rind cheese, a blue cheese, and a firm cheese. This is kind of the 101 of, of cheese board creation, and with each of these cheeses, I think there's a different wine that's a, that's a good companion. Just like food pairing as a whole, or just like other food pairings, there's really no one wine that goes with everything. So you really need to look at each cheese individually to see the best wine to put next to that particular cheese. The first cheese we're gonna talk about is a goat's milk Chev cheese. And with this cheese, I think Sauvignon Blanc is really the best pairing. Sauvignon Blanc that you find in areas like the Loire Valley, where much goat cheese is made, or even stuff in California. In the end, it's that style of wine that's made from Sauvignon Blanc that really makes it a good companion for a Chev cheese. It's about the acidity for me, really having that acid to help cut through the fattiness and the creaminess of the goat cheese, as well as the complementary flavors. There's kind of a grassy aromatic and flavor that you get with Sauvignon Blanc that I also find in goat cheese as well. Sauvignon Blanc, and goat's milk chev, really classic pairing, really delicious pairing. The next cheese we're gonna look at is a cheddar cheese. Uh, this is a Vermont cheddar cheese. For me, I really like cheddar cheese and beer, and I think that there's a really interesting companionship that happens when you do beer and cheddar cheese, and it's a pretty common thing to do as well. But if you wanna look at wine to work with cheddar cheese, I like sparkling wine. For me, something like champagne, perfect. You could also do pet nats, which are naturally made sparkling wines. Even cider works really well with, with cheddar cheese. So again, the idea of cheddar cheese, the fact it has kind of a rich, creamy texture, but it's pretty powerful and I think the fattiness can benefit from bubbles. Bubbles and cheddar, for me, that's really a great pairing and a pairing that helps to complement both the cheese and the wine. So the next cheese we're gonna look at is a firm cheese. This particular cheese is Comte, which is a cheese that comes from the Jura in France, right on the border of Switzerland. Like most firm cheeses, it can have a really nutty flavor profile, so I like really nutty wines with it. This is an example of a wine that comes from the Jura, the same place that, that this Comte is from, and it's a more oxidized style of white wine, similar like to a sherry or maybe like a skin fermented white wine, has kind of a nutty, rich texture. White wines that almost have a more of a red wine weight to them, which is really what you need ideally for a pairing with firm cheese cheese. Also wines from sherry, like a dry sherry from Jerez in Spain, also a great companion. And I think additionally, skin fermented white wines that you would find in like Northern Italy would also be great pairings for firm cheeses. So for our soft washed rind cheese, we have a wine from the Burgundy region in France called Epoisse. For soft cheeses, I think you can either use fuller bodied white wines or I like a lighter bodied red wine. So Pinot Noir, I think is a really awesome pairing with this. It's grown in the Burgundy region in France. So again, you see an example of a wine that's from the same area as the cheese comes from. But with soft cheeses, because the flavors are very subtle, I think you need a subtle wine like Pinot Noir. It's not gonna be too overpowering and helping enhance the flavors of that cheese. The last cheese that we have is a blue cheese. And for me, classic pair for blue cheese is port. This is a great example of a tawny port. So ports are rich, full-bodied red wines, but wines that often have a little bit of sweetness. Because blue cheese can be a little funky, kind of salty, that sweetness and that full body really helps to offset those flavors, enhance them, and really make an awesome pairing. It's a classic pairing and classic for a reason. So I think we've seen today that wine and cheese can work really well together, and there's a lot of options to make your wine and cheese pairing perfect. So in the end, you should open a lot of wine and eat a lot of cheese. I'm Patrick Capiello from Playboy.com is Mardone, a little grower that's making some of the most spectacular wines in the area, family-run domain that produces really mineral-driven and focused style Sauvignon Blanc.